what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is mo and this is my channel mo nation um make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me on instagram at just that kid two underscores today we're going to be doing another detailing video i haven't put one out for a while i've been doing mostly reviews but today we're going to be doing something a little different we're going to put out a detailing video um and we'll be detailing something a little different today we're detailing a um a big truck So, uh, we detailing a Peterbilt. I don't know if I said that right, but it's pretty dirty. Um, not as dirty as I thought it was gonna be, but it's all right. So, I'm doing an interior clean, and I'm gonna be using my steamer, and yeah, I'm be I use the steamer for most of it, get most of the dust out, make it look a little better than what it is now. Um, it's not that bad, but it could be better. So first I'm gonna soak it down. So you can see the dirt. So I'm gonna get all that out, make it look better. Use my steamer for this. See, pretty dirty. All oh, that is a lot of dirt in it, so we get all that out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm strapped the camera on my head. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so first what you see me, you gonna see me do is, uh, I'm just gonna kind of spray everything down real quick and give it a quick little wipe down. And then once my steamer warm up, I'm gonna get the steamer and I'm gonna come back over with the steamer everywhere. The carpets, all that stuff is about to get sprayed down. The seat is about to get sprayed down. Um, the back area is gonna get sprayed down. I'm starting with the front area first. Then I'm gonna work my, set, my way up to the back. So you can see and that's coming up the seat. So let me switch it to the head to the head to my head. Alright, so I'm using a steamer to try to get all this stuff out. So because this is have a lot of mud in it, I got a more heavy duty brush. I'll try to get some of that mud up. While my um, steamer is warming up, I am gonna go ahead and do the dash.
All right, guys, so most of this is just wiping. There's just a lot of a lot of wiping down. You see, I got the chemical guys leather clean brush. It's all the all of this is leather, so I'm just kind of wiping it down. So most of it, the the majority of the work is going to be the floor. I got some of it done, but it won't be 100%. And I'll let them know. But. It just a whole bunch of honestly the truck is just like really dusty but the uh, uh, whole different the whole different um, extent so what I'm trying to do is just work on one side I'm working on one side and then eventually I'm gonna make my way to the other side so I'm using my chemical my this is a magic eraser to do the steam well because you can tell that nobody ever cleans out the steam well so it's a lot of built up stuff on it kind of nasty so what I would suggest to y'all is if you're doing this make sure you bring you some gloves not only just to make sure you don't touch nothing nasty but you know Take your hands and stuff from whatever else is in here. So um, I'm still working on the floor. I'm using the steamer to get all the stuff out of the track. Just to get all the stuff out of the track. It looked like it's about to storm. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm trying to hurry up. At least get the floor looking clean. Start wiping down everything again. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, and then I'm gonna show y'all the end result. One eternity later. Oh, All right, y'all. So I'm somewhat done doing the truck. Um, honestly, so it looks a little better. I ain't gonna say ten times better. Just a little better. This is just one of the things you gotta deal with when you're detailing. Um, I really didn't come here prepared with what I needed to do everything, and so honestly, the mats or the floor is like a rubber and honestly in my opinion it need to be taken out because uh it just got a build up of dirt on top of dirt on top of dirt on top of dirt which like i've never seen before like there's dirt under there's dirt like mud underneath the pedal and stuff so it needs to be honestly it needs to be taken out and um i say taken out and it needs to be pressure washed and then put back in here and honestly, the mat that is what's making it look so dirty is the floor. If I could take the floor out and press wash it and then put it back in here, it would look uh, 10 times better. But a lot of it's got to do with the floor. If you don't see like all that dirt, um, and then I didn't have a my brush wasn't really picking it up real good. And it's like mud and it's like hard, hard, hard. So and that everything else pretty much came up, came out out pretty good like the dash and stuff i got all the dust and stuff off the dash um the seat came out pretty good after doing it the leather seat came out pretty good the doors all that stuff came out the windows everything even the top all that stuff is clean now it's just this floor so i'm gonna end this video here if you do if, make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'm glad i get to show y'all like some of the some of the things you got to deal with when you detailing especially this is my first time detailing a big truck so i didn't know what to expect now i know what to expect when detailing i know what i need to go and get so definitely need a steamer and i got one that helped out a lot but i need a really heavy duty brush so um so like i said i'm gonna end this here if you if you like this video hit a thumbs up um 
make sure y'all subscribe to the channel we're gonna have more detail on videos coming um, but like I said this is my first time doing a big truck so hopefully we'll do another one hopefully the guys cool when we do another one well, hopefully we got some more reviews coming and we definitely got more mods for the GA coming and I, I'm thinking about doing a couple of mods for the Durango as well because I haven't been treating it pretty good pretty good so I've been treating it pretty bad so thank y'all for watching I hope y'all having a good day uh, if this morning when I post this I hope you have a good day and thank you for taking 10 minutes out of your day or 15 minutes out of your day and watching my video see y'all in the next one